Hello Squirrels and welcome to PPM6 TV. And this week what it is is I'm back from the Dominican Republic complete with a sombrero. But more importantly what it is is a return to the Aston Stealth all shiny and new, well matte black in this case, but uh, shiny and new in terms of technology. It's got the sober thing suspension and the built-in windshield and the cleverest mic clip in the world. And not to, not to forget, um, the onboard mic amp give you a gain booster, no need for any lifting devices, and four different voices, which are complete circuit boards that rotate inside there. So this is, this is the new, aha. But this week, we have the classic. Now this bad boy is a Shure SM7B and it is a stone cold classic. In 1992 when Shakespeare's sister recorded Stay they could well have recorded the vocal on this. But never mind that. When, when Shakespeare himself wrote Romeo and Juliet he probably could have recorded it on one of these. Just had to wait 400 years for Mark Knopfler to write the melody. If you want to check out uh, just how rock and roll this is, can I recommend um, uh, the cult She Sells Sanctuary? There's a, there's a clip on YouTube from uh, radio station 91X. I think it's called the X Sessions. And uh, that's the vocal mic. And it's a, it's, it's, it's a killer. So anyway, um, I think it's no... You know, you look at these two. I think Aston have, have, have the SM7B firmly in their sights. Um, but it's not so easy... To depose a legend. So if, you, if you're wondering, uh, this over here is a Heil PR40 which is also a great mic and uh, as a matter of interest it's uh, it's got 66 dB of gain in it to um, do the business on my voice and uh, it's going into an RME mix to see mic amp and the digital output of the of the RME is going into my Nagra. So what I'm going to do is um, uh, swap the, uh, the, the Heil for these and well the first thing we'll do is We'll look at the gains. How much gain do you need to get usable output from these? And I'm afraid it's probably going to be quite a lot of gain indeed. Of course, that's notwithstanding the fact that we're not going to use the internal mic amp built in to the Aston Stealth. Let's check out those numbers. Okay, so now the question of gain. Well, uh, I'm just going to grab my, uh, my noisemaker, switch it on. And uh, the Heil, as you can see here, has got 66 dB of gain in it. And that's just up against the windshield. Um, now, you see next to it, this channel, is the Shure SM7B. You need about 10 dB more gain to get into the same ballpark. And uh, now to the Aston. Same, 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 really. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe I could knock a little bit of gain off that. But you can see that they're in the same ballpark, whereas the Heil has, um, has, has a bit more gain. You won't need quite so much uh, amplification um, should you um, go down that route. Now, what I'm going to do is just stop recording for a moment and then put Phantom Power onto the Aston, and you'll see the difference that the internal gain lifter... Uh, the internal um, uh, Class A mic amp makes to the um, output level. Hang on a second. Right, we've applied the gain and you can now see um, I've got 32 dB set on the RME and also the phantom uh, light is lit, which means that the Stealth will be getting uh, its internal mic boost. Um, power up the, uh, the noise machine. And now that's on the, uh, this is on the SM7B. And that's on the Aston Stealth. Um, I, I don't think it's, I mean, it's obviously fantastic to have that uh, extra gain available to you uh, because you may not have a, a clean enough mic amp for your job to provide, you know, 60 plus 70 odd dB of gain. Uh, you, need, you need some uh, pretty tidy electronics. Um, so that that's a plus. I mean, the other thing is, I think it changes the changes the nature of the sound, and so Aston make much of the versatility of the uh, uh, the Stealth, and I think that's true to that extent. You do get a different sound, and uh, it's it's well worth it's well worth listening to that. However, what I'm going to do in order to make it a fair fight, um, 
I'm going to treat the Aston Stealth and the Shure SM7B identically. I'm going to take the Phantom out. I'm going to put the put them both, uh, as it were, treat them as uh, dynamics with no built-in amplification, and we'll just have at it and see uh, see who wins in this uh, clash of the titans. So stand by for that. Okay, first uh, a couple of apologies. One, I've moved acoustic just because mechanically I wanted to get the two mics uh, close enough together so that I didn't have to uh, repeat the take and then maybe there's a slight difference in my delivery and that might be throwing people off. So this is quite a bouncy acoustic and I'm sorry about that, but the two mics are now you know, inch perfect in terms of being in front of me. The other thing is I've noticed is actually the Shure SM7B in use needs slightly less gain than the, than the um, Stealth when the Stealth is in dynamic uh, mic mode, which may explain why Aston have included that lovely um, gain option. Anyway, I've got 68 dB in the Shure and I've got 72 dB in the Aston. And both are now ready for Romeo and Juliet. Stand by for the Immortal Bard. A love struck Romeo sang the streets of Serenade, laying everybody... Oh no, hang on, sorry, sorry, that's the wrong one. Back to the top. Two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona where we lay our scene, from ancient grudge break to new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life, whose misadventured piteous overthrows do with their death bury their parents' strife. The fearful passage of their death-marked love and the continuance of their parents' rage, which but their children's end naught could remove, is now the two hours' traffic of our stage. From which, if you with patient ears attend, what here shall miss, our toil shall strive to mend. Scene 1. Verona, a public square. And there we have it. A real clash of the titans. Uh, to let you know, microphone A has been the Shure SM7B and microphone B has been the Aston Stealth. And as, as in many cases, you know, I doubt either mic will be the limiting factor in your recording. Uh, I'm sure the quality um, of other parts of the signal chain or indeed the quality of the performance is much more likely to limit you than the choice of either of these microphones. They're both very good indeed. Uh, do leave a comment if you think you prefer one um, to the other or indeed um, are not very sure. I'd be interested to know. Or indeed if you've uh, tried one of these out in the field and have got some uh, good advice for us, that would always be welcome. Thank you for watching PPM6 TV. More to come. I did say I would try the, the Aston against a large diaphragm condenser and I haven't forgotten that. It's just uh, I haven't got around to it yet, but hopefully I will soon. See you soon. Take care now and bye.